A former Victoria's Secret model faced a judge today hoping to clear her record. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Christine Johnson. Welcome back to the broadcast. Former supermodel Stephanie Seymour is asking to go to rehab after being arrested for two separate drunk driving accidents last month. CBS News Lou Young was in court when she made her entrance and exit in Stanford. Statuesque stunner Stephanie Seymour stepped from a shiny Mercedes Benz at Stanford Superior Court, making her bid to avoid criminal charges for drunk driving. The former supermodel and music video star, who once dated singer Axl Rose of Guns N' Roses, is essentially knock, knock, knocking on rehab's door after refusing a field sobriety test in Greenwich last month, applying for a state alcohol education and accelerated rehabilitation program. It's been our position that this is an ordinary. Very first offender drunk driving cases. Our experience has been most drunk drivers don't offend again. Miss Seymour has been appropriate all the way throughout this process. She was arrested January 15th on the southbound ramp to I-95 after backing her Range Rover into another vehicle. The arresting officer says she reeked of booze, had bloodshot eyes, and had trouble finding her license. After she was charged and arrested, Greenwich police found pieces of her car miles away near this broken utility pole, so additional charges of leaving the scene of the second accident were added on. Both she and her attorney seem aware that things could have been a lot worse but stop short of admitting she might have a drinking problem. You must be happy no one was hurt, right? Absolutely. People drink. Some people who drink have a problem. Some people who drink and drive don't realize what they've done. Does Miss Seymour have a problem? Does Miss Seymour have a problem? Not that I know of. Officially, the judge will decide if she's eligible for the program in April, but the general consensus here is that it's a done deal, and when Stephanie Seymour completes the program, her criminal record will be expunged. We're at the Superior Court building in Stanford, Connecticut. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. Seymour currently lives in Greenwich with her husband, Peter Brandt. The couple has three grown children, and she is 47 years old.